Hello and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2 and when we last of all the uses Voyager finally made it home to the Alpha Quadrant and uh, promptly saw the suspension of the Hazard team even though they proved themselves uh, to be quite useful by the sounds of it. But regardless, despite the events taking place after the Dominion War, Starfleet once again is completely incompetent and complacent as is customary for the show, right? But regardless, we spent two years teaching new cadets in Starfleet Academy which was a good use of our time because we excel at small unit tactics evidently. But but hardly idea because we want to get back in the action, don't we? And only due to a chance encounter with a Captain Picard himself, have we been reassigned to the new Hazard team aboard the Enterprise E, which we can actually see in the background now, which is interesting, because it's our new post, I would presume. Okay, just notice that it's interesting. But regardless, we still have some uh, thing to do, now getting settled in and also getting two of the ship, presumably. Uh, but I think there will be some action here in this episode uh, pretty soon as well, I would figure, because why else would we be playing Elite Force 2, right? Okay, so without further ado, we learn from our safe game. And see what we can do today. And apparently, I spent one and a half hours already. Wow, interesting. Yes, I want to do it. Why is there even. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I think we need to proceed to the bridge, don't we? Yeah, and apparently, we also have a screenshot VD. I'm not going to buy that happen because I certainly didn't order it right now. So, we have taken care of all things except to report to the bridge, and there's no secrets or little starships to be found on this level. Okay, I'm not going to show man, because I don't really care about these collectibles, of course. Alright, so we get going if we can find the turbo lift around here someplace. Yeah, and the game made a relatively good impression last episode because the lighting and the engine overall is much superior. Yeah, to what we saw uh, three years earlier in Elite Force. Yeah, back in the day, uh, these three years made tons of difference. Okay, there's our turbo lift. Deck one bridge. Ah, Enterprise E, where's our quarters incidentally? I mean, we have an office now, which is kind of fancy. And I also noticed in the mission description that we have been called uh, Professor Monroe. Yeah, not just Lieutenant. Welcome to the bridge, Lieutenant. Glad to be here, sir. How long do you think it will take to train your team to the level of readiness you had in the Delta Quadrant? We are receiving a distress call on oh, Federation there we go. channels. This is Captain Galloway of the Federation starship Dallas. We've been boarded by That's unknown Dallas, alien yeah, life right. Warn all Federation ships, under no circumstances should you approach this vessel. Set a course for the Dallas, maximum warp. Course laid in, Captain. Engage. My apologies, Lieutenant. We'll finish your tour another time. Assemble the hazard team and tell them we are deploying them ahead of schedule. Take Ensign Franklin with you. He's an expert on Excelsior-class ship systems. I want your team ready for transport as soon as we reach the Dallas. Aye, sir. And Lieutenant? Yes, sir. I rely on your team's readiness. We won't let you down, sir. Wow, we saw what happened in the first two missions back about Voyager, right? <laughs> we lost like three people and one severely wounded. Yeah, I think our former girlfriend is a security officer, right? What he does. Sounded like we broke up entirely here, the last episode. Let me guess, it's a space like monster waiting for the hole. What? Saliva? Something chewed its way in? We need to restore the main ship's systems. Franklin, where are the gravity controls? I'll send the location to your tricorder. 
Okay, so, um, I think we should be running around with the tricorder and invite. Okay, what do we have equipped? Um, we have the enhanced rifle, which is apparently an assault rifle, no so... Oh. I can't disengage the lock. Can you locate its power console? Oh, we can try that, uh, uh, Ensign, I think. I think I'm the only lieutenant, right? Okay, so we have two objectives. We need to find a way to restore gravity and also reroute power to the cargo bay door. And apparently there's no many override on this thing. We did. We had just avoided it, didn't we? Oh, maybe our tricorder can uh, tell us something about these. No, the party is not something we need. Good thing with night vision, otherwise it would be impossible to see anything back here. Okay, there is something cargo bay door. I think I saw that, so how do I get back here? Uh, let me guess we have to drop down, right? So this power node is busted. I guess um, people floating here because the uh, artificial... Gravity generators offline, I would figure. Yeah, I'm sorry, pal, it's too late for you. You were the first victim, I presume. Probably, right? Okay, can I even get back out if I access this panel? That's the thing, too. <laughs> um, I don't think we can push things out of the way, right? Over gravity gun or whatever. Okay, I do see another walkway, of course, but how do we get up here? I mean, the sensor. Oh, yeah, that answers the question then. I'll just of floating in here. Uh, if we can make this happen. Okay, so we have to bypass some damaged um, circuitry, I would figure. Yeah, right. Fantastic. Well, that was evidently not the way to do it. <laughs> let's not... Uh, okay, so we have to f uh, fix these conduits first, I presume. Okay, that's uh, kind of funny. Something I should keep in mind, of course. Really? How did I mess it up again? <laughs> Can it be serious with this? Come on, guy. Focus a little bit. Okay, we need to bypass this, of course. Okay, now I understand. I'm sorry. First time I've been doing this, of course, in a more uh, complex scenario. There we go. Sometimes I... Yeah. The yeah. Sometimes I have my own face pump almost right. Okay, oh, can that be helped? Okay, it unlocks the door, but it doesn't allow us access to this walkway because uh, even with uh, no gravity, uh, I don't think it's possible, right? Would be too easy, I presume. But oh, we can keep trying here for a couple of seconds. I think why not? I think we hit our head against the ceiling. Although, yeah, I think the handrails are slightly too high, so we can proceed that way. Okay, so then keep the face at the ready as if we can do, since apparently hostile life forms uh, may still be aboard this uh, ship, of course. Wow. Okay. Of course, there's a whole bridge in this area. Shut the bay. Okay. What are we looking at? This the operation looks like the part, so if we need an auxiliary power source in the transporter, we can use the shuttle for some blame. Also, the Enterprise is also still fully operational, of course. Okay, I will secure upstairs and you keep uh, things under control down below, right? I mean, technically, I'm in command, am I not? I think I am. I think I'm important, and of course, the handrails. can't bypass these doors. At least not from this side. But there should be a Jeffrey's tube that leads out. Okay, if I can find it, of course. Uh, what's the cause of death? Can we maybe take a look at this? Apparently we don't have a medical tricorder. Okay, um, anything unusual? Like bite marks? I think he just... Yeah, must have been open to space. Maybe the phosphate failed, but I think it's still online. Okay, we can bypass these doors. But this one opens still. I think this is the exact same sound effect as in Star Trek Generations. I'd also notice the turbo lift. And it doesn't sound like TNG, so they must have taken some uh, sound effects directly from Star Trek Generations, which is interesting because... Oh, Star Trek Generations was a niche game, of course. It sounds exactly like the doors on the Amagosa Star Observatory, exactly. Ja, okay, I can see a walkway, so it's the same as in the other area, and there's the Jeffrey's tube. And of course, that doesn't hurt to check out the area thoroughly, does it do? Nobody has to say anything about these bodies. I mean, I suppose the Dominion War has hardened some people, but still. Maybe we can access, maybe, override. Don't tell me it's busted. I mean, it shouldn't be. 
Yeah, no proximity sensor, so I have to press the button, maybe, or do we have to restore artificial gravity in here first? Yeah, this button doesn't respond to my command, so maybe I'm just pressing the wrong button, could also be. Okay, bunny door release. So you do have some many overrides there once in a while. Okay, so why not on the larger doors to get people trapped all the time? Maybe that's the plan, who knows? <laughs> Come get in here, please, Monroe. Wait here. I want to see where this Jeffrey's tube leads. Alright, okay, apparently we are on a mission. A solo mission incidentally. Yes, we can pick around corners if we are... Okay, if we are crouched now. But we cannot fire around corners and the longer, which is unfortunate, frankly. What is that? I'm not sure what it is. That certainly was the life form. It certainly was the life form. Okay, where's my phaser? Yeah, well, a compression rifle, I think, I take it. Nice compression rifles for the automatic, okay, whatever that was. Um, it's probably hostile because, well, we saw what happened to the ships. Subsystems are offline, of course. I think we can do with that. Maybe I should take teammate with me next time, you know, that could be a good idea. As you can see, we have, um, relational position on the radar, which you can see now, which is nice. Must be over here someplace, then I would presume. Well, it's a long drop, isn't it? Of course, Excelsior class refills, at least I guess. Okay, so I will keep the rifle in my hands. And then we keep moving, jumping, don't fall down, please. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can't do anything from this area, presumably. Probably not. Okay, uh, the lack of a flashlight is a little bit uh, concerning, but thankfully we have um, unlimited power on the night vision, I believe. Okay, emergency lighting is still online for the most part, but most of the doors are completely busted. Alright, apparently it's that easy. I don't think it is, but we can try it, I guess. I'm not exactly an engineer. I do, do have some training now of the yeah, Tamoli Hazard team here. Okay, so the circle is completely busted, apparently. Oh, this, this, no. <laughs> okay, yes, I could only blame myself for that, right? Couldn't I? If we redirect these away from the short circuits first before we even do anything else, just in case. I don't think uh, power coils work that way. Probably not. Okay, this is not a movable piece, apparently. Gravity systems online. Yeah, and all the crates smashing into That's the it. ground. The gravity is back on. Can you open the shuttle doors from out there? Oh, um, I don't think so. Well, we can give the spin, but I didn't see anything else. Maybe these panels have become online again. Yeah, these sounds, man, these goddamn sounds. Give me, give me a phaser again, please. Just as a precautionary measure, because I'm getting mighty paranoid. We should probably mention uh, our encounter, shouldn't we? I think we probably should. Okay, service hatch, of course, everything is locked tight. At least the power is now online, so we don't have to use the override. Fantastic. Uh, there was a turbo lift, right? Wasn't it? Hopefully no one was in there. Okay, so the panel doesn't give us any uh, particular information, I would figure. Okay, do we need to go on that deck? Um, maybe. Yeah, probably right. Okay, as long as they're on the phone to my doom, because gravity is not online, of course. Doesn't sound too happy. Is there maybe a... Well, I don't want to stand on here ideally. Do I do? Okay, um, this door is now locked tight by looks of it. Yeah, unfortunately so, even though we came from here. I may have screwed myself over by jumping in here, but I can see we have an emergency letter. Well, not all the way to the top, because why would that be? It's not the same thing on Voyager, of course. <laughs> yeah, the lighting is much, much better. Absolutely much better compared to what we saw in the first game. It's unbelievable. 
Yeah, but as a reminder, back in the day, a couple of years made tons of difference because hardware was evolving at a rapid pace. Hopefully, um... Cheryl is still his uh, nervous self, apparently. Speculation isn't going to help anyone, by the way. Yeah, something is still here, at least one life form in the vicinity, I, and I don't like it. That stupid panel. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so we can only open this from this side, which is strange, frankly. This is a deck-free access door of some type. Okay, we switch to this thing automatically, which is nice. Okay, we know what to do. Okay, this thing we cannot rotate, apparently. But uh, it's also needs to be gone now. Yeah, it's more like water pipes <laughs> compared to electricity. Welcome back. Now we can restore the ship's power. We just have to get to engineering. Is that easy? I don't think it will be that easy. Okay, parts the proper airlock. Okay, so cycles make sense. At least some basic security systems or safety systems for that matter. Okay, so we need to proceed to main engineering, and is there no one alive for this? No, is there no one alive for this entire ship any longer? Yeah, doesn't sound too good, right? Uh, Shell is the engineer, not me. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little too restored, even though I've all the graphical details mixed out, of course. Uh, I think that's the warp core, right? So we have to go this way, evidently. Okay, always keep looking over your shoulder. We heard something. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? What was that indeed? Is it in the ceiling? Hopefully not. Yeah, that was something I was worried about. I cannot just peek around the corner and open the door from this side. Doesn't work. It's too far away. Apparently, my arms can only reach that far. Okay, I didn't burn myself too badly, but it's a bit embarrassing, frankly. I've got life signs. Check your tricorder. Look at all those blips. Well, what are they? The blips are headed this way. They're getting closer. They're almost here. They're. Hey! You sound disappointed. The only thing worse than an alien attack is an alien attack that hides when you see it coming. Right, okay, I don't want to back myself in the corner, of course. That's probably not the Borg drone, right? <laughs> so we couldn't activate the image. Yeah, okay, um, fantastic. And now the door is busted. Maybe we can vaporize it. We don't have a vaporize setting on the uh, face, it will be not. Yeah, okay, thanks for the door. I don't see any hostiles, but evidently they are here. Okay, phaser at the ready. Whatever I do, phaser at the ready. Don't waste your time with these corpses because they take mostly pressurized. We've reached main engineering. Locked. We have to find a way in. These Jeffries tubes lead to an observation lounge near engineering. Good enough for me. Stay here. Okay, sure, but at least we are confident leader. Better hardened at all. I suppose we have way more combat experience than the average security guard. And these are bound to little more than a guy with a hand phaser, right? And a red uniform, at least apparently as era. <laughs> okay, nowadays of course everyone wears a grey primarily. But uh, definitely in engineering. Maybe this was mentioning the Monroe. 
Und dann wird der Scared of me weit. Jetzt ist die alle Round. Und dann hier an die Tore aus. Wer wird der Go? Kostet der kein Punkt, der weit. Wer wird das Mann auf Who knows? Gut, das spielt Animal Type of Creature. Hopefully der Arm to many, because I cannot engage that many, I can see. Uh, this look like claw marks on the walls. Yeah, someone is hunting me. Yeah, they're really... Yeah, gnarly wild, it just... <laughs> but bite marks everywhere. Uh, through the wall, reminds me of these hamster drones. Yeah, and somewhere another. Okay, das ist die Lounge. Was kommt am Back hier? Maybe we could uh, probier jetzt some Containers, you know, uh, as an impromptu flame floor. Yeah, definitely there's someone in here or something. I'm going to watch my back around here. At least uh, they have all their limbs still attached with this something. So what they were interested in. The door closes right uh, in my fucking face. <laughs> Ken. Uh, must be important straight from starting generations once more. Wow. Okay, wow, that looks fantastic, man. Still today, eh? Yeah? Okay, now it's the time for sightseeing, but we can uh, with the map at the scenery a little bit. It's still a quake free engine, but it's heavily modified, and evidently all the effort has paid off. That's more in line with the Chronicles of Riddick, right? I'm not sure how thick these decks are. Yeah, I'm being hunted. Am I not? I think I'm being hunted. I'm not the hunter. It's the other way around. Okay, um, there certainly are some claw marks here, right? On uniform. And I think the eyes and the skin also look surprisingly. Yeah, maybe it's just the composition or the effects from being exposed to zero gravity and all. Okay, turbo lift, I want to get to engineering, why not the turbo lift? Yeah, okay, service hatch is locked tight. Okay, wow, well, we've made contact with the enemy. And these are not to be underestimated. Okay, there should be plasma or acid or anything in between, and they also take apart. Um, by health quite easily. Okay, so we have 80 health, I think, and now we have 10. And that's our normal difficulty. Ah, they're also acidic. Oh, that's even better. Um, of course, I can no longer shoot and picking around corners, but they can see me and they can shoot me, of course. Ah, uh, that's a downgrade. I don't really uh, approve of with there. But are ah, these things though? But the hostile, evidently. Okay, I don't want to stand there when it goes boom, I would think. Okay, so hopefully we can hear ourselves because once again we don't have any hypo sprays or anything in between, of course. We've got blips again. Moving in fast. Monroe, we're trapped. Get us in there. Use your tricorder on the main engineering console. Okay, if it's time for that, yes, maybe. But hopefully there is time. Okay, so um fantastic. Um so Sure, <laughs> maybe short circuit the entire area. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this is a new puzzle. So, um, it's also a short circuit. Okay, fantastic. Ah, uh, okay, now I understand. I think uh, yellow and blue are supposed to be yeah separate, right? So there we go. Okay, this is something. Thanks. What the hell are those things? I have no idea. Their attacks seem savage and instinctual, as if they are not sentient species. Sentient enough to hold their attack until we were cornered. Monroe to Enterprise. Oh, it's animal Our instinct, right? Still. We've engaged hostile aliens, sir. Unknown life forms. Team status intact. And the Dallas? We've restored partial power. Proceed to the bridge. Find Captain Galloway. 
Okay, der Retter Lord ist nur Blurring. All across the ship. <lacht> Behauptet sie, maybe down of reactivating power, right? Okay, we have to uh, make our way to the bridge, but I think the turbo lift is probably not functional, but figure. That seems pretty likely. And what with the warp core is stable? I should hope it is. Looks exactly like the, um, we are the warp core in TNG, right? Because this is an Excelsior class refit. Ja, yeah, I didn't see any health station here by chance, did I do? That would be too easy, I would figure. So I have to make do and live in my own failings as it's customary. Ja, yeah, there's no health station in main engineering and auxiliary uh, power, ja, yeah, access point, whatever they call it. Okay, but hopefully it will be good enough. It has to be. Okay, are we trusting this turbo lift, incidentally? I'm less convinced about that. Oh, right, it's my job, presumably. Okay, we try that. Also, survive a moving. So, this thing, yeah. This system isn't too far away as you would think for easy maintenance. Oh, was sind so halt auf der Allweit? Thank you, computer. Oh, Sheriff was trying to help me out, but I default. I didn't need any help. Isn't that nice of him? So, the turbo lift, do we really trust that thing after seeing all this damage on the ship? Well, apparently we have to. Okay, let's get going here, guys. Come on. Oh, apparently they don't feel like <laughs> using the elevator. Well, I can't really blame them for it, can I do? Okay, this is not have to wait for people to board the elevator as in the first game because it was very slow and tedious. We're on the bridge deck. I know these Excelsior class ships well. I'll show you the way to the bridge. Well, then lead the way, please. Or don't. Okay, apparently there's a whole bridge back here and no force field. That's kind of worrying because emergency force fields are fully automated for the most part. Oh, fantastic. Now the bad valves was ahead of schedule, also around the corner already. Would have gone better, maybe. Okay, this is the first casualty on the very first mission. Stay sharp. I don't want to lose anyone else. Yeah, bad first impressions, right? I think these are acidic. They look acidic. Okay, so, um, fantastic. So, where did he, yeah, where did he go for the airlock? But it does have an, uh, suit, right? Maybe the orbit tour him apart could be. I'm not quite sure, I'm sorry. It's only outfitting so possibly. Okay, these people they look a little bit strange, their skin and all. And uh, can we maybe get a health station in some place? That would be great. Why do you have some emergency health stations, you know, on certain decks? I think at least. Yeah, it recharges my phaser, but not my health, so that is a little bit problematic right now. You don't happen to have a first aid kit, right, by chance? Sir. Yeah, you said you had improved your medical expertise, you know, back on Vulcan, but apparently you don't feel like using it on me right now. That's great. Yeah, probably I can still shoot while picking around corners, then things would be a lot less hectic, right? Wouldn't it be? But these people but actually do have ranged weapons, they have an acidic uh, spit or whatever. Isn't that lovely? Okay, uh, so we have already come to a conclusion that everyone is dead apparently. That's great, I mean it's a good assumption, looking at things around here. Yeah, I hear them sliming their way through the walls here someplace, right? That's a nice sound. Oh no, <laughs> get out of my way, please. Yeah, okay, so... Sledgehammer style, I think. I mean, you can melee even the Borg, right? When I'm not allowed to do the same in return to them. That's always nice. Okay, the moment we have no hostiles on scanner, but of course it doesn't mean anything. Are you coming? 
You're down for a team member, of course. Uh, hopefully, uh, this is not as damaging as it would be in the Alien franchise. Who knows? Okay, is this the bridge? Uh, it's a service access, so probably not the bridge, right? So we have to bypass uh, the uh, burning area, presumably. Okay, we're shutting off the plasma beam, whatever. Could be. Plasma conduit, you know, the technical term. At least in this uh, universe. <laughs> right, I have uh, some health points in the armor, so it gives, I guess. If they attack me here, then I have some problems. Okay, two doors are accessible right now. Yeah, I feel a bit defenseless. Okay, that's the observation lounge. I think. Could be. Ah, uh, there's a replicator, but I cannot hear myself by eating food, right? <laughs> Unlike the starter generations. Okay, this door can be busted open, I presume. Oh, uh, do we want to? What do we see on the other side for that matter? I don't see anything unusual just yet. But I should be expecting trouble, of course. Okay, all the bridge officers are dead, apparently. That's what we thought. Yeah. They look to be transformed almost. It's Captain Galloway. Gerard, find out how he died. Chell, access the captain's logs. There are no wounds on him. He died from asphyxiation. Presumably when the Dallas lost life support. The captain's log is online. Play it. Captain's log, stardate 56535.1. We're responding to a distress call from an Atrexian station just outside Federation space. The attack crippled us. I've sent most of my crew to the space station. I hope they can protect the Atrexians. I've kept a small skeleton crew led by my security chief. We're gonna try to salvage the ship by getting it away from the space station. Now, dead vote on Chevelle, right? We've got cascading system failures. We're losing the battle to keep up minimal life support. We can't last more than a few hours. I've authorized my chief engineer to try an experimental procedure. She's encoding our remaining crew into the transporter pattern buffer. It's risky. The signals might degrade beyond recovery. But if it works, it may be the best chance for survival. Well, maybe there are also some survivors. Chelsea. Gerard, let's head back to the transporter room. Okay, the transporter is uh, notoriously finicky in this other universe, so it's very prone to my functions, of course. Okay, uh, how far away is the transporter room for that matter? Is it on the same deck? I don't think it will be. Anything else we can learn? Apparently not, and it draws a very, very rude in this game. <laughs> okay. Alright, I press the button, thank you very much. If you're so insistent about this. Okay, but what about all these corpses if most of the crew is either on the station or in, um, yeah, in the transporter buffer? I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what the Excelsior class would have uh, as a standard roster. Uh, crew complement, whatever. Crew quarters was something very important right now, evidently. Yeah, okay, maybe it's not the only thing hiding in the transporter buffer, right? All this is room for the best. But it cannot have been that long. We responded to the stress call right away. And Scotty managed to survive for what, like 80 years in the transporter buffer? I mean, it was only one person, but you know what I mean. Is so scared right now. Okay, we need to bypass this area, which means we have to shut down the plasma conduits in some way or another. And that's something we can do from back here, presumably. Yeah, unlikely. Oh, do we have any clues? I don't see a fire extinguisher or a well, suppression system in the area someplace. Yeah, unlikely, right? Okay, I'm not fully launched because we already came from there. Yeah, there was a maintenance access here somewhere. I remember that. If I can find the maintenance door again. 
course, there was another Joffrey's troop. I didn't investigate it at all. I'm not sure which one it was. Hopefully, I can rely on my memory to find out. Yeah, I think it was the one to our right here, wasn't it? At least I locked tight. This one is locked. Why well, they said the ship was falling apart with a cascading system failure. They weren't joking about this. The warp core seemed to be online still. Right, okay. Which door is it again? Not this one, presumably. I would come out of here if I saw some health stations, maybe. Be a good idea. Yeah, that's just a way to get on the bridge, I suppose. Which is nice, I suppose, in a certain fashion, but it doesn't give me anything right now I need. Okay, this is ship model. So we found our first ship model. I suppose it's something. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I suppose. Uh, why not? It looks nice in our shelf someplace in our office. I would suppose these creatures are also capable of surviving in the hard vacuum of space as the harvesters. Are these people related? I mean, uh, some of them they also spit acid, didn't they? So I'm a search and then um, we should be on the other side maybe. Force fit back here, but I don't see a whole bridge. Not at least from this core position. Okay, another Rammstein plasma conduit. Um, I think except for the starship, this may have been a complete deep tour. Unnecessary detour. We seem to be getting closer, but I am concerned that we cannot detect these people, uh, well, unless they already popped out of the room or whatever, or the wall for that matter. So was this necessary? If it wasn't, uh, how did you make it over here then? Uh, whatever, I don't question things any longer, but I think uh, we still have a yeah, job to do, but how do we access this area? I well, guess we have to go through here after all, so I was unaware that some of these areas were traversable, hence my momentary confusion there, I'm sorry. So for here then, right, well then we keep the phase already. Ah, uh, yeah, that's lovely, so obviously we have to bypass that force fit in some way or another. Yeah, all doors are of course busted, as you would think. Oh, maybe there's a panel here, so we can disable these force fields. That would be great. Yeah, so it's that easy vibe. But the fire suppression system should really be fully automated, but apparently it isn't. Well, oh, I don't like this one bit to you. <laughs> okay, so um, this is in the lounge again. Well, hopefully they do have some health stations in here, but apparently not. Yeah, that looks pretty gnarly. Also find the fridge the answer of the corridor. That's at least something. We should really request the engineering team from the Enterprise, frankly. I feel a little bit under prepared for this. Their patterns are very weak. They're fading fast. Shell, more power down here. Ooh. They've been in the pattern buffer for a while. They're dehydrated and probably a bit disoriented, but they should be fine. Alex? Mm. You're late, Monroe. I think they're back to normal already. Thanks for the save. I'm Katarina Scott, the chief engineer of the Dallas. This was your plan? My great-grandfather's plan, actually. Captain Montgomery Scott. Uh, he developed uh, a procedure for huh? staying alive Is inside the universe? transporter pattern buffer. Alive with no signal degradation. Very clever. 
Chell here. I'm trying to get the shields down so we can beam out of here, but the security subsystems are a bit chaotic. I could use some help. Gerard, stay here and treat them until we can get them back to the Enterprise. I'll go assist Chell on the bridge. Monroe? I hear chewing. I need backup. Hurry! On my way, Chell. Okay, we should try that. I'm hoping I still see health station. So, quickly, get over here. So, we don't have to hold on the button. Wide emergency, medical station. So, finally, we have first aid kit someplace. Why isn't that lovely? Okay, so I'm my own now. Well, that's always good. Yeah, okay, well, and then I have to hope for the best, presumably. And use my years of experience as a team member of the Hazard Team. Yeah, or the leader even. Okay, if you get a drop on them, they're not too difficult. But we shouldn't get too complacent here, of course. They hit like a truck even on normal difficulty. <laughs> Okay, I really don't like the uh, change they have made that we need to reload our firearms all of a sudden. That's a bit nonsensical, frankly. Okay, that's still in the wall someplace, of course, I know. Oh, fantastic, of course, that would happen. Let me guess, you buggers are responsible for this shit. Okay, fighting the street apparently is uh, in order. And I already hear a freak of nature. Okay, so this is not traversable, unfortunately so. Ja, yeah, das passt vor die Wurst, weil dort der. Ja, Ambush Tactics, der maybe Animals, weil der Typ auf der Tür ist. So, da hat das ist Game wäre wär so kein wie die Tau, how much ammo I from my ding. It's also, ja, uh, yeah, Dark Pop, I think. Ja, yeah, okay, dann ist auch die Essence, okay. Sorry, sorry, Jar, I get going now, as best as I can. Ja, okay, der Wall wird ja auch so in der Hall Base, so wir haben plenty of friends to play with. Ja, wie die hate das mit keine Happy to reload this thing. Das make much sense. That was close. Thanks, Monroe. Gerard to Monroe. The Dallas crew are stable, but we need to get them back to the Enterprise. I've deactivated the Dallas' shields. We can beam out now. Monroe to Enterprise. We're ready to beam out. Next stop will be the station, I would figure. Sick Bay standing by to receive the Dallas crew members. Ja, das war so eine pretty uh, horror-heavy mission, aber auf der Same for the Light in the Engine ist noch capable of, very immersive. Okay, so hoffentlich learned something useful. I mean, die Computer Banks were still online, right? But my accuracy was pissed poor because it was mostly dark. <laughs> What happened? We responded to a distress call from an Atrexian space station. Atrexian? A star-faring people with 12 systems and 23 colony planets in the Brecker Rift. We found the Atrexian station under assault by unknown aliens. We saw no alien ship, so we took a low orbit near the station. That was our mistake. They swarmed us, using impulse engines built right into their exoskeletons. Really? Amazing genetic engineering. They disabled our shields and chewed through our hull before we could mount a defense. The ship was doomed. During a firefight, we beamed most of the crew onto the Atrexian station. The captain raced away from the area with a skeleton crew of volunteers. We hid in the pattern buffers to wait for rescue. We hoped our ruined fuel. ship could broadcast a warning to Starfleet so no other ship would risk a low orbit at the Atrexian space station. If these aliens had no ship, how did they get to the system? We don't know. Perhaps their ship was cloaked. When we arrive at the station, I want the Hazard team to go in first. Locate the remaining crew of the Dallas and help the Atrexians. Aye, sir. Probably going to be graveyard, right? Yeah, probably. Chell to Monroe. I'm on the final stage of the shuttle prep. Oh, but so okay, then we need to get our equipment, or maybe not, because we had to do this in Elite Force One, of course. Okay, so it's interesting. Uh, that may actually be fully modded, right? I think. Uh, maybe not. It looks like a skybox, but okay, the engine was still a little bit limited in this regard, but it looks very nice here. Excellent, as a matter of fact. Okay, Tuvok uh, is taking command temporarily on the shift. Yeah, do you have anything to say, actually? Sir, your team's performance on the ship was exemplary, Lieutenant. The loss of Ensign Franklin was regrettable, but your success on this mission led to the rescue of several Dallas crew members. Yeah, all three of them. 
Thank you, sir. Lieutenant Commander. I don't think anyone else has anything to say about this fight. So we go into the turbo lift. They're not in Captain's uh, yeah, ready room, ideally. I don't think it was so happy about the performance. Deck 7, shuttle bay. And I think he didn't even mention the casualty that he door. About the Dallas? The Dallas was a good ship. If it happened to them, it could happen to anyone. It could happen to us. Let's just get these GPS conduits replaced. Yeah, let's get to work. Yeah, don't think about the bad stuff, right? Always a good idea. I've been doing research on Andorian plant life. Oh, really? Are you again? <laughs> I didn't even know they had any plants on Andoria. There are only a few, but they're carnivorous and very dangerous. I was attacked by a Galadorian venom weed on an away mission. I don't have a lot of sympathy for hostile plants. I find all plant life fascinating, even so-called hostile plants. Well, keep them far away from me. I need to finish my stellar cartography updates. I'll talk to you later. Okay, why are you working in the shuttle bay for that matter? That doesn't sound like a hydroponics matter, does it do? Okay, before we continue, we can check out the cargo bay maybe. It could be something interesting in there. Why not? So that we find the time pressure, right? Hint, hint. <laughs> Okay, so that's all of the Lukaku Bay. Oh, some reflective textures, I like it. A plasma converter, do we need this? So why is it accessible? It fits in our transported buffer, so we take it, apparently. Why not? So, and there's something needed to refresh the memory about the lithium crystals and uh, the shuttle bay. And the shuttles themselves, okay. So, why not? So, I'm not going to fight, we have that thing. No idea. So, we're stealing from the supplies now. Okay, well, uh, I suppose it's a habit we picked up in the Delta Quadrant. Hello, Lieutenant. I'm the ship's librarian. Oh, and you're walking in the, in the Shuttle Bay, okay. Yeah, empty Shuttle Bay. Have you seen one? You've seen all of them, presumably. Mm -hmm. This also sounds exactly like that uh, one door in Saturday Generations. It can't be a coincidence. It just cannot be. I believe Franklin's gone. Did you know him well? I used to play Dom Jot with him every week. He was a good friend. <laughs> I never really figured out that game. I'm more of a poker fan. I don't see the point in playing an antiquated game which was designed solely to facilitate the transfer of unearned currency. It's not about currency. It's about skill and strategy. The currency was really only a score-keeping mechanism. Except that in those days, losers could have their homes taken away. Thanks for the history lesson. Yeah, it sounds exactly like the uh, station in the Amagosa star system, we know. Okay, and uh, apparently this thing flies right for the atmospheric uh, shields. Okay, fantastic. I think as in TOS, probably everyone should be vacant in the shuttle deck before uh, every launch, right? That seems like a good idea, frankly. Hello there, Shell. All finished? I found a malfunction in the starboard nacelle's plasma exhaust. It's not venting properly through the driver coil assembly. It's going to take a little longer than I estimated. I thought Starfleet engineers always worked faster than their estimates. Well, uh, we have three shuttles to choose from, why it does have to be this one? If it's damaged and not fit for combat. It's burning out. Get inside the shuttle and use your tricorder to bleed off plasma from the left computer console. Right. Uh, am I also an emergency engineer now, VD? Left, I think he said, right? I can find the console, of course. The pretty tight core does. The shuttle is going critical. Please <laughs> hurry. What's with the security systems on these uh, stupid ships here? Right, okay. Uh, use the tricorder on the console. But which one? Monroe, I need you to get into the yeah, shuttle and use your quarter on the left computer console. Yeah, I know Please it hurry. didn't highlight. You don't have much time till it burns out. We've got to vent the plasma now. Oh, of course, it's a fucking time out as well. Uh, of course, that would be. So, there we go. Close. It's why I don't trust Good Sensitivity job, Officer Monroe. to be an engineer. 
So, uh, are we using the shuttle still? Or can we use one of the other ones? Yeah, it just didn't register, he saw that, right? It's like the tiny, tiny, tiny window here, the tiniest of windows, VD. Okay, so I'm also the shuttle pilot now, incidentally, or the transporter chief, or anything in between. I mean, I'm the leader of the fire team. That's the only job I'm trained for, that's the only thing I'm good at. Not engineering. Not engineering. So, what gives I guess? <laughs> Sorry, but it is the case, is it Come not? On, team. Let's show them what we can do. We need to exercise caution. Yeah, also use a different shadow. They're capable of chewing through a tritanium hull. They're capable of falling over when shot. Well, if it bleeds, that means you can kill it, yes? Even if it's acid. And we still are using the shadow, aren't we? Uh, well, whatever. Maybe we should be further away from the station because uh, we received a specific warning to be far away from the station. And apparently we didn't listen. I mean the shuttle still have warp engines, right? Also import engines. We don't have to hug the station with the Enterprise E. It's unnecessary. I also remember that sound very vividly, also from the Amagosa station. Be careful out there, sir. Hazard team, report in. The aliens have completely destroyed the lower environmental ring. No sign of the Dallas crew. I'm proceeding to the rendezvous point. The computer systems appear to be functional. Also, I found an Atrexian weapon that seems quite useful for dealing with these aliens. The see you at the rendezvous point. The casualties are staggering. The medical wing is completely destroyed. Yeah, the graveyard, right? Some survivors. I'll meet you at the command center once I've stabilized them. Yeah, no stowaways on my watch, please. Okay, so um, of course it's an alien space station. It's not built to same standards as Starfleet stuff, presumably. Okay, we've been expected apparently. I'm not sure what the box is all about. Maybe it's explosive, but I don't want to find out right now. Maybe I should. But we don't know anything about the aliens, of course. I guess I guess. Except that they are hostile and uh, have animal instincts. And a barn they can also fly out of the vents, of course. Ja, yeah, spread on this thing is substantial. Ja, yeah, we can do that and also hurt ourselves quite a bit. Incidentally, by the boss, ja. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was bound to happen, of course. Okay, so the shotgun, of course, I didn't uh, use extensively in the... Ja, yeah, can we skip this, please? There we go. Ja, yeah, extensively in the holographic simulation, I'm sorry. Okay, alles explosive, I think there may be. Ja, die DA, das war der Highlighted, aber Figure. Okay, so also 3 Fuß Action ist das Space Shotgun. Ja, hoffentlich wir können support that ammunition wise, you know that would be great. So wir flyers, we have everyone spitting acid at me and the shotgun is ridiculously inaccurate. Die spreads like outrageous. You have to be point blanking somebody to actually inflict any damage. Ja, but then they go boom, which is nice. Hey, look at the spread there. Oh, you just saw that, right? <laughs> okay, at least you can reload quickly. Even though there should be a need to reload, of course. Maybe not kill ourselves this time around, you know, that would be great. Okay, look at the spread, look at the spread, man. <laughs> yeah, these things coming from. I mean, this entire station is infested with these creatures, we know that, but still. I think I'm running a little low on juice now. Oh, great. Uh, what's the way out? Do I have to go someplace myself? Maybe not. Probably have to vibe. I don't see the pattern because I'm being swarmed from enemies from all directions and all the elevators are not on the correct level right now. It's a ridiculous number of enemies right now. And now also out of juice for the rifle. Let me guess we're sharing a bow. Okay, where am I going? 
Oh, then you get something from self recharging phaser then for a change, right? I guess. Okay, hopefully it's finding all of them. Maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, so hopefully we can make our way up here now. That would be great. Relative peace, so to speak. Okay, there's also plasma thing, of course. How do I buy... Oh. Let me guess it's timed. Of course it is. Why is it even here? It looks uh, decidedly unsafe even before the invasion. Yeah, yeah. Here this cannot be serious with this, of course. We need precision timing. We need precision timing. It needs to be down to the very second. Otherwise, we will end uh, in fail here, of course. What else would it be? Oh, really? Precision timing, of course. Nothing else will suffice. <laughs> oh, really? A staple of these. Oh, what? You cannot be serious with this, right? Oh, it's supposed to see this. It's like pitch back dark up here. Oh, really? <laughs> of course, they also want us to do precision platforming, but arrows. By also avoiding these things. Yeah. Can you see this? I cannot see this. It's why I fell off, of course. Yeah, I can feel my head uh, burning back here. Burning my lovely hair off. Don't fall fucking down, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. And of course, we have my friends immediately. And we're out of shoes, right? Okay, are we getting swarmed? Of course, the answer yes, we're getting swarmed. This day I blow up quite uh, satisfying day. Well, there were somebody of them, right? Okay. Not sure what that is. We don't have time for this right now. <laughs> we need to defend ourselves. Yeah, I think the phaser is still self-recharging. Don't give them time to set up their whatever it may be. Okay, door control. Open the fucking door, please. Thank you very much. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, great. Lovely. Close the door, please. And see what we can do. Okay, no, obviously not a survivor. I'm not familiar with this particular alien race, to be honest. Okay, so we are out of juice for everything except for the phaser. That's always good. And let's see more holes in the wall. Wow. Lovely. I don't want to hear that, evidently. Why did we split up into multiple teams again? I mean, the answer team is not just three people, right? I think not. Ja, I know. We've already come to the same realization there, buddy. The fates have delivered us. Well, we're only one guy, of course. Okay, what's your position here? What's your status? Give me a report, please. Other than everything is going to hell and back then. I will saw that. You need help, maybe, by chance? Mine card control terminal. Close the mining station. Ja, yeah, okay, but uh, with, with what exactly? Do we need to move these minecarts, maybe? I'm not sure about this. Oh, but uh, why else would this be accessible, of course? Okay, it's not a talkative type because it's an emergency situation, of course. That seems like a larger creature, why right, doesn't it? Okay, we should hopefully have some ammo for the shotgun now again. Ja, yeah, okay, so I think I'd rather prefer the assault rifle, frankly. Ja, yeah, fantastic, man. Ah, well, I suppose we should start with the other term in the first, shouldn't we? Well, I think he's dead now. Probably. Well, I'm sorry, pal. I need to mess with the controls because I'm also an engineer, apparently. Yeah, so uh, yellow needs to go to yellow and these cannot overlap, I think. So, what gives I guess? Um, that's not going to be that easy, is it, though? Well, if we go back from one source, then maybe we can figure it out. Okay, and then we have to do this crossover section, I believe. Uh, 
Ja, so was ist halt auf der All for a Change, because I'm getting a little bit more familiar before the game wants me to do, of course. Good, but only to one console, that's the other one better as well. I should open this. Yeah, this door is locked tight, so let's just back trick a little bit and see what we can do about the particular area. Oh, good to see you're still alive. I was a bit worried there for a second. It's a little bit convoluted, isn't it? Okay, why are we doing this door? I don't understand because we haven't been to the other of the corridor, right? Hopefully it ends in the situation. Oh, but they're not. <laughs> so far, I think we need to bust open the door with that thing. Like an battering ram. Okay, whatever gets the job done, I think I take it. Okay, you enjoyed your snack there, I suppose. Yeah, everything is horrible back here, of course, as you would think. So, and we saw a creature from, from the other side for the busted door. Getting a little bit paranoid here. So, how far away is the rendezvous point? Okay, well, thanks for that power, but also not a good figure. Yeah, the guy should probably come with me because we are stronger together, I would figure. Maybe the vibe was slightly more likely in this case. Yeah, I believe miss my zoom function, also the ability to peek around corners and shoot at the same time. <laughs> but that's not going to happen any longer, unfortunately so. Very immersive once again, I think the lighting makes all the difference, frankly. And they also make good use of the various audio snippets, but then again, the music was also pretty good in the first game. There's like quite a few of them. Yeah, okay, so about, um, anybody else? Okay, so some little ones, I'm not too scared of if they don't swarm me, of course. Okay, maybe we put some, yeah. Ja, yeah, maybe pass auf so einmal der Bonds in the Wire. With the Phaser could also be a good idea. I'm Lieutenant Monroe. Who were these invaders? We don't know. They just appeared about three days ago. They came from nowhere. Where's their ship? I was the engineer on duty when the attack began. There was no ship, no transporter activity, and no warp signature. Either. We somehow never noticed hostile aliens living in our solar system, or their warp technology is beyond anything we know. Where are their leaders? We haven't seen any. They seem to have no type of command structure. So how do they coordinate their attacks? We don't know. In between their attacks, they just seem to mill around like insects. And they charge in wave after wave with no thought of self-preservation. Pretty clever tactic for an insect. And effective. Our ammunition. Now, sounds is somewhat for me. Does it not? You should know, Mister. Yes, there is one close by. But the last group we sent never came back. None of us will go now. No, Vector. One of us will. What? But Avaxtus. I'd rather die fighting than sitting here. I'm with you, Avaxtus. Show me the way. As good as dead. Well, and so may you be if you stay here alone, right? This way. Well, okay, we can hopefully provide some meaningful fire support. Yeah, we have right next to one of those uh, breaches, of course. That would be the reason. Ja, so die also drei Fosse mit Underwärmung, regardless weit. Okay, don't shoot him. I did it a bit, that would be great. Okay, fantastic. So, finally, the terminal has been activated. I have back boots, right? Don't I? Ja, in hier presumably weit, weil of course we need to deal with these creatures first. Maybe they will be sucked out, who knows? I mean, blown out, I'm sorry. Ja, Get out of my fucking way, you idiot. Thank you very much. Okay, where's the in here for some play? Where's the button? There we go. 
Oh, toll. Wir haben es auf so einem Problem zweit. Fahren wir noch schnell Batterie kapazieren. Die Longer für Various Standard Issue Fire Arms, weil das gute Idee ist. Okay, so uh, Gas up again. Let's see if we can do. I have more friends, of course. Uh, okay, so it was a hairy situation. I don't know how you survived there because I barely didn't. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, I want to get in more practice with the shotgun, of course. The coin in the sword rifle, but it's just that a shotgun. Yeah, this go boom, but in the moment it shouldn't go boom, of course. Now what was that security code? I remember the code. Well, then punch it in face and get the weapon for yourself. Oh man! <laughs> you have problems right now, yes. Think faster. Think up out of juice now. Why which was swap to the phaser, I guess. Well, then we have to take care of this of phaser now. Uh, try to. <laughs> yes, I know the explosive barrels in the area. Okay, well, uh, let me find it maybe. Yeah, yes, I don't know where is it, this thing. Okay, give me that. Maybe. Okay, no weapon need ammo badly. Now it's been out phaser, I think I take it. Yeah, it's the welder again. <laughs> okay, I think it's a border right, I think. I'm betting over how many things are back here. It okay, needs to be reloaded, of course. Okay, anyone else? Yeah, I think it's a goner. Well, he did this too dear. He knew it was a suicide mission. For both of us, almost. They just keep coming. Yes, they were talking about the entire, um, yeah, wave tactic. Okay, hopefully we finally survive the onslaught for now. Yeah, okay, so we have the weapon. What is it called? Should tell us it had again, presumably. It's the arc gun. Well, we know that thing, of course. But also they are done here, evidently. Yeah, you are resilient fellow, aren't you? Maybe we can do it to one of those explosive crates, could be a good idea, but it's not uh, obliging. They are maybe related to the forge being right, presumably. I mean, they act the same. They are also genetically engineered, of course. That could be. Okay, so um, we can simmer down for a second and see what we can do. So, um, I think... Yeah, I think we only have a 30-something uh, spare magazine capacity for this current arc welder, whatever it is. Yeah, did we get anything from the other weapons, maybe? Well, they're completely empty, so we have to phase out this thing, but that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely, fantastic. Of course, you don't expect alien technology to be fully compatible with standard issue stuff, right? Of course we don't. Okay, so can we see anything with the tricorder? Uh, not really right. I think of importance. Okay, so what's the next objective? <laughs> I don't think there was any prospect of that happening, frankly. I don't think there was. And the rendezvous point apparently is the command center of the station. Well, maybe we can at least survive the trip back here. I don't think it would have been possible. Look at the number of enemies. No way. I was barely able to defend myself. It's just too much here. And we don't have the ammo. By the way, why we don't have the ammo? So I have to go back to the phaser and have a fighting retreat, apparently. Okay, so that's what I like to see. But maybe only one at a time would suffice, maybe. Okay, where's the next explosive barrel? <laughs> okay, um, the phaser is just as underwhelming as it was in the first game. Because it's an emergency pea shooter. It's supposed to be your standard firearm, you know, for time. But we have to. Yeah, okay. I could stomp up there, presumably, if I had the will to do so. Yeah, of course, we have other vents in the other area as well, so they keep swarming me. We have to be careful. There's someone else around the corner, isn't there? I think I still see them on the radar someplace. Oh, I think we should keep moving. It's probably good advice. I think you can probably save him, but I'm not sure how we can make this happen. Not on the first try. Okay, we have you to worry about now. Where's your friends? Probably quite a few friends, right? There we go. Oh, disgusting. 
He did make it. I'm sorry. It was a suicide mission. What news? Where is Avaxtis? He didn't make it. The fates have blessed you, but poor Avaxtis. Have you seen other Starfleet crew members? Yes. A Federation ship requested emergency assistance three days ago. They transported their crew during an attack on the ship, but I haven't seen them since. Did you Federation people bring this plague down on us? Of course not. I have to go now. Right, I can't blame There's him for that body to come with us. I found an abandoned security station. I'm downloading their security codes. Chang here. I'm on my way to the rendezvous point. Resistance so far has been mild. By who's the standards? I found medical supplies. I'm setting up an emergency field hospital. Sydney reporting in. I'm maintaining a safe distance from the station. This one is broken, I think. More mine cards. I don't think the system is operational any longer after what we did to it. Okay, security codes. Why we need ammo badly? That's the most important thing on our mind right now. Oh, it is not that many elevator rides to worry about in this game. That's nice. Because the engine can handle larger levels, I suppose. Yeah, also just better um, level design in general. It's invincible, unfortunately so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, Fred, we found another alien being. Not a good way to make a first impression. Although I don't think we have a first contact event for about any way. Okay, this completely ruined, of course. Okay, I need this ammo badly. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, hotkey number three, apparently. Health station, some recharge packs. I think it's uh, pretty much needed right now. Okay, it is something about security overrides. I don't think it's that uh, console wide. Probably not. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the part. Okay, so we go with this weapon for a little bit and see what we can do. Yeah, haha, <laughs> no, I think the friend that is for you, right? With the asset uh, being launched from back here. The friendly fire is a concern for them, which is funny when you think about it. I don't think it puts our accuracy necessarily. Probably not, I would think. They're everywhere. At least the lighting is to function on the stack. But for much longer, who knows? Yeah, and a casualty of this horrible situation. Maybe the Forge people, I'm not sure what the name was. I'm sorry, it was only benched in the very last cutscene. Was something unpronounceable, so who knows? Maybe they launched an attack. Yeah, I'm not going to headshots better against these things, who knows? We can make the effort. And if you need to memorize some of these hot keys, but the situation is very immersive right now. On the way, we have the Arcrider for you, which apparently is a security weapon, and not a um, yeah, tool, like in the first game. Looks decidedly similar though, in terms of performance at least. I don't think stealth makes any difference against these beings, probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. Okay, you seem to be alright slow, at least for the time being. He just breached the inner wall. What's going on? We've caught one of the invaders. He's in the escape pod. Jettison the pod. Our controls down here are broken. There is a release switch on the second floor. It's in the master control room overlooking the pod. Can't you just go up there? The lift to the master control room is broken. I tried to reroute power, but it still might not work. 
You activate that lift. I'll go upstairs and activate the switch. Right, okay, so party we have a mission to do. Yeah, get that lift down here. Why is there no button incident? There. Oh, get that elevator down below, please. Come on, guys. I thought it was part of the plan. Ja, so I lost like all of my time already because <laughs> because I was waiting for the elevator. That's great. Okay, crisis has been averted for now. The very strict timer, evidently. Yeah, that was a very large picture. I did see that. Okay, we should also check for other survivors in the area. Maybe we find one or two. This uh, will loop around and one by another, but figure. And we also see an emergency ladder. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we found some friends. That's all we found here, apparently. We do some pest control, but there's no entry them inside anyway, so I don't think it makes much of a difference anyhow. But why we here, we can help them. Oh, so disgusting. I think this must be acidic then, presumably. No activity. Well, at least for now. Oh, Billy, what is it? Did see that? Do they have a cloaking device? I don't think they need a cloaking device. Okay, I'm completely out of ammo again, almost. I think I'm down to 22 shots, I think it's less back here. Also back to the good old phaser. So ammo is a lot less the common place than it was in the first game, I have to say. A lot less common. Yeah, we have to find our way for you just to get that research back. So we have to whip out the phaser more often. That's a bit concerning. Those invaders have disabled our defensive grid. We need to get our systems functioning again, or we're all dead. Monroe Enterprise. Go ahead, Lieutenant. The command officials are safe. No sign of the Dallas crew. They're coming. We're under attack. Lieutenant, protect the Atrexian command officials at all costs. Yeah, we succeed with that vice yes, this time. Stay close to each other. I'll protect you. Yeah, about for the ammo for this. I cannot just kick them right with my boots here. And you cannot just grab a weapon yourself, maybe, by chance, at least for a little bit to help out. I mean, you do have side arms, right? I think. He yeah, just <laughs> cannot take care of them quickly enough. That seems to be possible. Maybe I blocked him with my party. Just my, yeah, my hazard suit for this. Yeah, once the big guys get over here, it's good nights for them, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. We're out of ammo again. <laughs> there we go. That's the phaser. The good old phaser. That's not going to happen. Is there no ammo in the room for Satas? Yeah, thank you, sir. Right in time. To be our night enchanting armor times two. One switch weapons, come on! <laughs> Party, my lord doesn't feel like uh, switching weapons right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, obviously very eager to shoot these alien bastards, right? Most aggressive member of the team. Please convey our gratitude to your captain. You have the reverence of many future generations. Thank you, but I'd rather have some answers. 
Have you ever seen these invaders before? Never. Who are your enemies? We have no enemies. Well, we have ongoing problems with the Trexian smugglers. And Idril separatists. And occasional Cardassian vessels looking for easy conquests. Idril? A backward race. We've been assisting them for centuries. We've given the Idril the gifts of written language and the warp drive. But the Separatists are not grateful. They claim that many Atrexian systems are actually ancient Idril homeland. They've created a delusional fiction in which they are an older race than we. That should be easy to disprove. It is. But cherished superstitions die hard. Fortunately, most Idril don't believe the Separatists. We're wasting time. The aliens are not Idril. They must be an interstellar invasion force. Like the Borg. Whatever they are, we can't get them out of the station until we get your defensive grid back online. Our security generators are in ruins. Don't you have backup generators? Yes, in the main power core, in the heart of the station. If we can figure out how to manually connect the backup generators to the grid, we could eliminate all the invaders on the station. Only our what? chief engineer could do that. But I don't know where she is. I do. She reported in. She's trapped in an office near the main power core. Tell her I'm on my way. Has her team? Stay here and protect the Atraxians. I see. Party, I feel like so long most of the time in this campaign is up to this point. Seems pretty challenging already here. No, nothing goes smoothly ever for us, of course. Ensign Gonzalez, USS Dallas. Lieutenant Monroe, USS Enterprise. We've just come from the Dallas. Did she make it? We got there too late. Those creatures tore the ship apart. Damn. Where's the rest of the Dallas crew? The lower habitat ring. It'll take a while for the creatures to reach them. Here are their coordinates. What are you doing out here? Looking for supplies. We weren't sure how long we'd have to stay down there. Monroe to Tuvok. I'm relaying the coordinates to the Dallas crew. We are beaming them out now. Are you ready to beam out? And let you have all the fun. I'm staying. Okay then. Let's find an attraction <laughs> okay. engineer and get that defensive grid cranked up. Hopefully he does have weapons right because I don't feel like sharing right now. Oh, he does have a compression rifle. Okay, not sure who you are, but it sounds like exactly what we need on the hazard team. A guy with an attitude. Okay, they really want us to use the uh, advanced uh, assault shotgun. Or that we take the game up with an offer. Maybe. But the spread is still outrageous, frankly. <laughs> okay, but this the acidic stuff doesn't seem to be hurting us with the slides. There we go. Both barrels as the same goes. We'll need to find an alternate power source that'll open this door. Sounds like a job for me, right? Okay, uh, lift down. Ah, uh, doesn't have any power, of course. So, we'll be up to these letters then onto the walkway. I would figure why you keep her uh, safe and sound, and I will take care of the usual engineering stuff in the up anything but an engineer.
anything all right down below i think we're looking at some generators up here yeah it doesn't look like fusion to me maybe they're using some different technology that's at least something i like this weapon up to this point it's been performing quite well for us okay and use the tricorder all right another one of those puzzles and as you can see they're getting more and more complicated well, the first thing we need to do is to, uh, of course, roll this away, otherwise we have an immediate short circuit at our hands. And then we need to figure out the route for the power to flow. It was more like a pipe network. I don't think electricity works that way. This one cannot be moved, uh, so we need to disconnect this portion, I presume. Yeah, this is also a movable board. It's right next to a short circuit, so that's a bit unfortunate, right? Yeah, cannot move this one. And the problem is, no matter how we rotate it, it always ends up in a short circuit, so... Yeah. Well, maybe it's not so hard after all. <laughs> Unexpectedly so. But let's should reactivate power moving. Yeah, it says uh, engineer door, so hopefully this has been unlocked already. Well, maybe we can use the lift, you know. Oh, but apparently not. Well, hopefully we can absorb a little bit of full damage. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully you're still safe and sound, dear engineer. If I get you to the main power core, can you get the defensive grid back online? Yes, but I need someone regulating the energy flow from here. I'll do it. Good. Stay here while I take Vorchov to the core. The main power core is below. We need to take the lift down. Let's go. You have the access codes there, Engineer. Yeah, reminds me of Friedrich and also Half-Life by consequence. There will probably be some friends uh, below or uh, top here. Looks like we have about uh, three spare uh, energy cells for our lovely little Velda. Or maybe I was worried about nothing, could also be. So far we've seen three sides. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, you shouldn't run in front of my boss with that lady. But good to see you equipped with your own sidearm. to the generators. I have to get all three online or the grid will burn out. Also, so far we haven't seen anything but once the generators, yeah, there we go. That will cost some attention. Yeah, I should stay close there, of course. I think it only takes a couple of seconds, but it's Time is way too long. Yeah, here for the generator, I think she said. I don't want to be restricted to phaser again. <laughs> Look at how many there are. Look at how many there are. Wow, BD. No, who knows the fucking phaser again? We don't have time for this. We have time for this. Which weapons? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, you're quite resilient, dear lady. I have to say, the same could have been for me, of course. Yeah, man, of me. This thing is. Uh, Ridiculous spread sometimes, I feel. <laughs> yeah, they can also, of course, fly. I didn't forget that, right? You have their own impulse engines, that's a little bit outrageous, but of course, uh, genetic engineering was are going back here. Okay, at least they are completely helpless if they are mid air, which is something. Okay, so all of them, I hope it is. Yeah, okay, we make some noise and then the uh, things become attracted to this, presumably. I'm not sure how they pick their targets, but I guess we will learn eventually. Maybe we can uh, take away some of them if they survive, you know, the corpses, I mean, for further study. The Enterprise has uh, excellent science systems. 
one of the most advanced vessels on the entire fleet. You know, if anything else, no, we don't, right? So that's a fucking <laughs> That's a bit, uh, that's a bit terrible, frankly. Yeah, we have taken basically no damage, this thing is completely out of the rules. Da da. Gonzalez, get us power. Power's on. Chell, turn on the weapon systems. Power's coming online now, Monroe. the remaining invaders. The Atrexian space station is safe. I'm sending an away team to assist with the cleanup. Well done, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. One to beam up. Well, it was our first successful mission. We didn't lose anyone except for the one guy we failed to escort back to his body, unsurprisingly so. Okay, but overall I'm pretty satisfied. It was a pretty good mission. Very immersive. Once again, the lighting was very well done. Yeah, now we've an intermission, well, mission indeed, no pun intended. Lieutenant Monroe, Information please gathering, join of us course. in <laughs> Okay, well, we should probably get ourselves checked up, right? Probably, but I think we need to do this next recording session because it was a long one, incidentally. But, uh, well, I think we can learn something important about the... Okay, always keep this in mind, you know, the location. Very important here. I think the ship will come under direct attack there once in a while. Okay, I suppose we can learn something about the aliens before we call it a quiz for today. Why not? Hello there. I think we also have one Andorian on the secondary um, hazard team, don't we? I think we do. I think we was actually on the same deck, wasn't it? If I can remember where it was. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? I mean, I don't remember, certainly. Well, must be on the same deck then, presumably. Lieutenant Monroe, we are waiting for you in sickbay. Yeah, but there's no map on the board there. I'm sorry, sir. I'll be on my way temporarily. Okay, it's right around the corner, apparently. There's no skill involved in firing a weapon like that. Ever since we returned from Rigel, I've been feeling under the weather. You look really ill. I wonder if you have Rigel fever. No one's had that for a hundred years. Feeling under the weather is the main symptom. You better rest and have the doctor run some scans. Okay, but this won't keep me from playing tonight's game in our chess tournament. It's still not too late to forfeit. Forget it. Even if I have Rigel fever, I'm gonna beat you again and make it six games to nothing. Lieutenant, you are ordered to report yeah, well, oh, to man. immediately. Stupid <laughs> prodding. <laughs> it's really annoying. I put these conversations there in this case. Thanks to the hazard team, we have recovered many intact alien bodies. The doctor has studied their biological makeup. Doctor, how could a completely organic being contain a personal propulsion system? Genetic engineering at an unprecedented level. The carapace is sealed to provide protection from the vacuum of space. And their personal impulse drives generate enough heat to keep their muscle and organ systems metabolizing. What about intelligence? No clear determination. They do have large clusters of nerve tissue densely packed into the exoskeletal cranium. But it's not organized into any structures that we would recognize as a higher brain region. Fascinating. Lieutenant, what did you see in their behavior to indicate intelligence? Hard to say, sir. They were able to act cohesively in attacking groups. But they didn't appear to communicate with one another or formulate plans. They appeared to be acting mostly by instinct. That would argue against self-directed intelligence. I also found this. A non-organic device fused into a small nerve cluster at the base of the cranial region. What's its function? Unknown. The technology is too alien for any easy assessment. We're working on it now. Lieutenant, research the Atrexian people. We need to know who their enemies are. Aye, sir. I also want you to create new tactics for fighting these aliens. Aye, sir. Though our tactical wing is weaker without Franklin. That's a grave loss. I'll consult with Tuvok on a suitable replacement. If I may, sir, I'd recommend Ensigns Murphy and Gonzalez. They're both on temporary assignment to the Enterprise. Very well. I'll assign them both to the Hazard team. Thank you, sir. Finally, someone would trust our judgment. You did well. A 
good man died, but many more live thanks to your quick thinking. Thank you, sir. Take an example from that to work. No, from the first game. That's how we encourage your subordinates. Okay, so um, we need to research something apparently. Alright then, but otherwise I think that's all we can do for today. So I thank you for watching as usual and I hope to see you next time.